Good morning, First High Park. Good morning. Good morning. morning. Greetings in the presence of our Lord. The time has come. The hour is upon us, where we gather to worship and praise our Lord and our Savior. We'd like to welcome you to the First High Park Missionary Baptist Church, where we're under the pastorate of Dr. Terry L. Davis. Those of you that's present in the sanctuary, as well as those of you who might be logged on via Facebook Live, as well as YouTube, whatever the platform is that brings you into the park, you are indeed welcome. Uh, you know, we are celebrating Black History. We are on, on point today for our Black History program. Let us remember God's hand in Black History as we reflect and as we look forward and as we uh, uh, view what's going on in our lives today. Let us remember God's hand in Black History. At this particular time, our officers are going to come, but before our officers come, you know, we're, we're in our celebratory mood today. So let's do a, a verse or two of a song. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, come on and stand with me. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Everywhere I go, you know that I'm gonna let it shine. Everywhere I go, I'm gonna let it shine. That I'm gonna let it shine. Jesus gave it to me. I'm gonna let it shine. This gave it to me. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. That I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it. Shine. Amen. Let's give the Lord a hand clap of praise because he's worthy. The Lord is worthy to be praised. At this particular time, our officers will come with a soul-stirring devotion. Say amen as they come. Good morning, church family. Good morning. <laughs> oh, you know you get to I can't think fast. I have to think a little slower, but God still is good. Jesus keep me
Harris High Park. Amen. I've come to you this morning with the reading the scripture this morning out of Job 42, 1 through 6. And thus say the Lord. Amen. Then Job answered the Lord and said, I know, I know that thou can do everything, and that thou do can without stand thee. Who is he that hideth counsel without knowledge? Therefore I utter that I understand not. Things to which I knew not. Here I beseech thee, and I will speak. I will demand of thee, and declare thou unto me. I have heard of thee by thy hearing of the ear, but thy eyes see it thee. Therefore I harbor thyself, and repent in dust and ashes. Amen. Uh, we were just talking about this morning, amen, that if you... Not build a person up. You shouldn't say nothing at all. Amen. 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 I, I would just tell you, the only time that you can put a person down is when you're on your knees. Let us go to God in prayer. Most heavenly, gracious Father, Father, and your darling Son, Jesus. Father, we come, Father, with many thanks upon a heart, Father. Father, in your blessed Son, Jesus' name, we come, Father, just thanking you for a day we've never seen before in life, Father. Then, Father, in your blessed Son, Jesus' name, we ask that you touch those that are on their beds of affliction this day, Father. Father, in your blessed Son, Jesus' name, we ask that you have your way, Father. Then, Father, in your blessed Son, Jesus' name, we ask that you come in First High Park, Father, and have your way, Father. Father, we ask that you touch our pastor, Father, touch it from the sole of his feet to the crown of his head. And then, Father, we ask you to touch the poor pit. Father, touch those that, 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 that sit there with him, Father, and diligently wait and seek that he, he'll have them to do. Father, we can't thank you enough for their service, Father. Then, Father, we ask you to touch each peer, Father. We know, Father, that you know what's going on in their lives, in their homes, Father. And we ask that, Father, that you touch with your finger, love, Father, like only that you can do, Father. And then, Father, we ask you to touch our choir, Father. Give them strength, Father, to sing diligent as you have them to sing, Father. Then, Father, we ask you, Father, just touch every door that is open in your son Jesus' name, Father. Have your way with them as well, Father. Father, we can't thank you enough for all that you do, Father. And then, Father, in your blessed Son, Jesus' name, I ask that if I have sinned anyone, Father, forgive me, Father, because I have no attention to offend them, Father. But we ask, Father, that we, we touch and agree, Father, that these things shouldn't go, Father. We ask you in your darling Son, Jesus' name, accept this prayer. In your blessed Son, Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Good morning. Everybody ought to hold to his hand. God's a changing hand. Everybody ought to hold to his hand. God's a changing hand. Just build your hopes on things in turn, 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 turn on. You got a chain in hand. That's what I like about it, y'all. Trust in him. He will not leave you, my Lord. Whatsoever ye may be, in your earthly friends for sin. Take you ought to stick more closer to his 
hand. That's why all of you can say this. Let every heart say, everybody ought to hold to his hand. God's a changing hand. Everybody ought to hold to his hand. God's a changing hand. A just be your hope all things in turn, 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 turn on. I just hold to God's unchanging hand. Well, amen. Come on, put this hand together and get God praise in this house. The summer declared, I was glad when they said unto me. Let us now go into the house of the Lord. It's just good to be here on this Lord's morning. Amen. Amen. I don't know about you, but I thank God for another privilege, another opportunity just to be in the Lord's house again. We welcome all of you into the sanctuary of the First High Park Baptist Church. Certainly, we, we thank God that you are here. We welcome those who are watching by Facebook Live through YouTube. We welcome you to the sanctuary of the First High Park Baptist Church, and we ask that you come on and, and uh, help us this morning yeah. to have a little church in this house. Amen. Yeah. Amen. I believe if you come to church, you ought to have some church. Amen. Yeah. Or not just come, just to be coming. Amen. Yeah. Amen. We're celebrating black history today, and uh, certainly we are, uh, thank God for all of you who have come in your attire, and we're ready to celebrate. Amen. Our hymn of the morning is hymn number 457. Our hymn is 457. Uh, uh, the old Negro spiritual. Amen. Uh, lift every voice and sing. Uh, the Negro national anthem. Amen. Uh, 457. Let us stand as we prepare now to sing. Our hymn of the morning. Lift every voice and sing. Lift every voice and sing till every
and God bless you. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Thank God for our inspiration of choir this morning as they prepare to come and bless us in a special way. Amen.
Can we get the congregation to help us sing this song here? I know everybody should know it. We're going to do one of them good old black history songs. The choir didn't rehearse it, but I know they know it. And I know y'all should know it. If you don't know it, you're going to learn it today, all right? <laughs> now, back when they was walking with Dr. Martin Luther King, they was marching down Selma and everything. They had them, as Pastor called it, them uh, uh, line in the hymns. And uh, I forgot the lady name, and I'm sorry that I forgot it, but she sung one of these songs that said, Ain't gonna let nobody turn me around, turn me around, turn me around. Ain't gonna let nobody turn me around. I'm gonna keep on walking, keep on talking, walking to my freedom land. Y'all come on. Ain't gonna let nobody turn me around. Oh no, oh. Let nobody turn me. I'm gonna keep on walking, keep on talking, walking to my freedom land. I'm gonna let segregation turn me around. I'm gonna let segregation. I'm gonna keep on walking, keep on talking. Walking to my freedom land. Ain't gonna let the Jim Crow laws turn me. Oh no. Oh. Ain't gonna let the Jim Crow laws. I'm gonna keep on walking. Keep on talking. Walking to my freedom land. Ain't gonna let nobody. Let nobody. I'm gonna keep on a walking, keep on a talking, walking to my freedom land. Ain't gonna let racism. Oh no. Oh. Ain't gonna let racism. I'm gonna keep on a walking, keep on talking. Walking through my freedom land Ain't gonna let no hatred Oh no Ain't gonna let no hatred I'm gonna keep on walking Keep on talking Marching with the freedom land Ain't gonna let no injustice Let no injustice. I'm gonna keep on a walking, keep on a talking, watching to the freedom land. Ain't gonna let no jail cell. Ain't gonna let no jail cell. I'm gonna keep on a walking, keep on a talking. Marching to the freedom land Ain't gonna let nobody Oh no Ain't gonna let nobody I'm gonna keep on walking Keep on talking Marching to my freedom land Well, amen. Come on, give our inspirational choir a great hand. Amen. Thank God for you this morning. We're not going to let nobody turn us around. No, no racism, no virus, no nothing. Paul said it this way, I shall let nothing separate me from the love of God. Amen. Thank you, choir. You all looking so good today. Thank you all so much. Thank you all so much. I appreciate it. Appreciate all of you. Bless y'all real, real, real good. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Dr. C is going to come now, and uh, she's going to present our, our black, black history moment and program for us today. Come on, show her love as she comes.
Dr. Davis and the First Hyde Park family, we come today with our Black History Moment. First, we start with a brief devotion from Sister Chase and some of the mothers. Join in with them and let's make this a special occasion. Amen. those of our ancestors who had to uh, sing to get through all that they had to endure. And the mothers on the mother's board, they would hum and sing. I was glad this morning Responses. They knew as they called out across the ocean and across the sea that their people were struggling. Today we struggle, but not in the way they did. We pray right now this morning that you will be reminded of how those mothers used to pray. They used to call on Jesus until they got an answer. In this day and time, we want to give Jesus a microwave prayer. But this morning, we're going to remember just how they went to God in prayer. They bowed down on their knees. They called on Jesus. Until they got an answer, I'm going to ask one of the mothers to pray. And as she prays, let us be reminded of just how far we come. Let us be reminded of just how far we yet have to go. Young people, be reminded that you are the now generation, not the next generation. We need you now to step to the plate. Come on, mother, give them some prayer. Lord, we thank you for this day, Father. And many more to come. We thank you, Father. You've been so good to me. He found me from a mighty long way. I thank you, Lord. You know you walk with me. You talk with me. Father, sometimes I couldn't even learn to move. Father, I just sit there and lay back in the bed. Couldn't even walk one step. And when you know you thank you, Father. I thank you, Father. Father, you been so good. And you know you found me from a body long way. Thank you, Jesus. You know you 
sit high and look low. We thank you. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Lord, have mercy. You know you been to me. We thank you for this day. Father God, I thank you for my family. My great children. Great grandfather. We thank you. Today, and so we're gonna help Sister Mallard sing this. Great. 
Amen. Amen. Pastor Davis, Minister Taylor, Evangelist Dennis, and each of you, I am honored to welcome you to our Black History Celebration. We have had many of them. However, this year we have Black Health and Wellness. We take a look at how African American health care has often underserved the African American community, even in this different type of welcome. I want to encourage each of you to take control of your health. We welcome you to study and learn of different ways to protect yourself during this stressful time. As we listen and learn more of our health history, I urge you to stay. You to stay focused on Jesus because he has all the answers and recognition of black history, I welcome you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you. We have mind, body, and soul that we are looking forward to for our theme for this month. At this time, Mother Thick Pen will bring to us Swing Low, which was a song that the slaves listened to when it was time to make a run. Come on, Mother Thick Pen. Swing low, sweet chariot, coming for to carry me home. Swing low, sweet chariot, coming for to carry me home. I look over Jordan and what did I see? Coming for to carry me home. Coming after me, 
child do you know who you are who you really are do you know you can be what you want to be if you try to be what you can be hey black child do you know where you're going where you really going do you know you can learn what you want to learn if you try to learn what you can learn hey black child do you know you are strong i mean really strong do you know you can do what you want to do if you try to do what you can do? Hey, black child, be what you can be. Learn what you can be, and tomorrow your nation will be what you want it to be. Pastor, Minister Taylor, Evangelist Dennis, First Lady Davis, and all to you, and all of you, this is our Black History moment. In 2022, who do you want to be like? Do you want to dream like Dr. Martin Luther King? A civil rights legend, wrote letters in the Birmingham jail, famous for his I Have a Dream speech, or help like Harriet, born into slavery, made 13 minutes made 13 missions to free slaves, or fight like Frederick, escaped from slavery to begin the journey to assist others in slavery, or speak like Sonder, first black woman to win an ease against a white man to regain custody of her children, or write like Langston Hughes, wrote a poem to the artistic contributions of Harlem, or dare like Rosa Parks, civil rights activist, Oh, my aching feet, refused to give up her bus seat. Or create like Quincy Jones, considered to be one of the greatest minds in music, love traditional jazz, soul, and pop. Or inspire like Maya, American poet, civil rights activist, great works including I Know Why the Cage Birds Sing. Or head like, or lead like Barack, 44th US President of the United States of America. Famous for, yes we can, yes we will, and yes we did. Where are your dreams today? Adult in American identity or a teenager? God bless each of us as great as American citizens. Dr. C called me and asked me to do a compilation of songs. And I had to sit down and figure out what songs to do, Dr. C, because I really didn't know. But you asked me to do it, and I'm, I figured out something. If it don't sound right, y'all just go along with me anyway, all right? 
The first song says, Wade in the water. Wade in the water, children. Wade in the water. God's gonna trouble the water. See that band all dressed in white. God's gonna Looks like the Israel of Israelites. See that band all dressed in red. It looked like the band that Moses led. Why don't you wait in the water? Wait in the water, children. Wait in the water. God's going to trouble the water. When Israel was in Egypt land, let my people go. Oppressed so hard they could not stand. Let my people go. I said, Go down, Moses, way down in Egypt land. I said, Tell old Pharaoh to let my people go. So Moses went into Egypt land and said, let my people go. He made old Pharaoh understand, let my people go. I said, go down, Moses, way down in Egypt land. I said, tell old Pharaoh to let my people go. Give me that old time religion. Give me that old time religion. Give me that old time religion. That's good enough for me. It was good for Paul and Silas. It was good for Paul and Silas. It was good for Paul and Silas. And that's good enough for me. Give me that old time religion. Give me that old time religion. Give me that old time religion And that's good enough for me I'm gonna lay down my burdens Down by Oh, down by Oh, down by I'm going to lay down my burdens down by. I ain't going to study war no more. I ain't going to study war no more. I ain't going to study war no more. I ain't gonna study one no more. I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna study one no more. I ain't gonna study one no more.
spirit of abundance, God of grace, mother of hope. We pause now to remember those stories that are all around us, but so often passed over. That when we're told are shared because of what someone is and, who, and not who they are. This month in, in our nation's character is Black History Month. Help us to realize that black history is in all our history. May the day come when these stories are so widely taught that no mouth needs to be separately divided. We pray now for these new choices. May we come to see a day when the prison systems become restrictive and not punishing. A day where the legal system learns to focus more squarely on the facts and not the color of our skin. A day where the schools are so well funded, not need the demand. May our role model be allowed to exhale when they thrive and not been taken down by their rich heritage. Amen. We know this will require a shift in power and that some be scary for others. Give us, these full, give us these full of fear, which is hope. May we come to know grace so that in our hearts, we will not be hardened by the pain around us. There are so many beautiful stories needed to be told and we need to get the chance to hear them. Widen our vision so that the history that is shared this month and in every month comes to be known as our history too. We are most human and when we see humanity in others. Happy Black History. Well, amen. amen. Come on, give, a, give all our participants a great hand. Amen. God bless you. Thank you, Dr. C, for uh, sharing with us this morning and putting together our program for our black history. Normally, it would be on an evening, but it's in the morning this time. Amen. And certainly, we, we're grateful and thankful for all of you who have uh, taken us down memory lane. Amen. Especially that, uh, that, that Mona's bench over there and there. Thought I was back in Shivers, Mississippi. <laughs> Amen. Where they would... They would give a line and we would fall in. Amen. And certainly we praise God and thank God for all of you for uh, your work on this, on this Lord's morning. Amen. As we move on, let us make ready now to worship the Lord in our giving. And we can move on a little further. Amen. The Bible did declare to bring your tithes and offerings to the storehouse that there might be meat in my house. Prove me now, says the Lord, if I will not open up the windows of heaven. And pour out a blessing that there's not a room enough for you to receive. Amen. You can give various ways to this ministry. Uh, you can mail it in at 2750 Coleman Avenue uh, here in the city of Jackson. Or uh, you can go online to gift to find there. You can give online to First South Park MB Church. Or if you just want to drive by and drop it off. Amen. Uh, there are those who are waiting to receive your offering. And those of you who are in the house, amen, as our ushers now and our brothers make ready now to serve you, amen, let us now bring our tithes and offering to the storehouse. Our ushers are going to come and give us directions.
Our most heavenly and gracious Father, dear Lord, we come thanking you for this offering that has been received, may it be used for the building of your kingdom. Lord God, we, we pray that you bless those that gave and bless those who had a desire to give but was not able to give. These and other blessings are asked in our darling son's name, for it's in your son's name that I do pray. And they all said, Amen. Amen. Standing all over the building. of our Lord.
Amen. Thank you, choir, for blessing us. Amen. Come on, give the Lord a great hand. Bless the Lord in this place. Sound a whole lot like church up in here this morning. Praise his holy name. Thank you so much. Amen. 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 Shine on, on me. Shine on, on me. I With a lighthouse shine on on me, I heard the. We thank you for another privilege, another opportunity just to stand and proclaim your holy and divine word. Lord, I beg of you now to remove us from self and hide us down in the treasures of your holy and divine word. Give us a fresh anointing, O oh God, that comes from upon high, that I may be able now to stand boldly and proclaim your holy and divine word. And Lord, we'll be mindful as well as careful to give you all the honor, the glory, and the praise. In the mighty name of Jesus, we do pray. Amen. There is a word from the Lord. Come to us that has been recorded in the act of the apostles or the act of the Holy Spirit working through the apostles. Acts chapter number eight. And we shall begin reading at verse uh, 26. Amen. Verse 26. Uh, down to verse 29. Uh, actually, uh, we're looking at verse 26 to verse 38, but... Uh, uh, we'll find a way to get it in, but for the preservation of time, we will only read verse 26 through verse 29. Amen. Verse 26 through verse 29. We do give reverence and obedience unto our God, to Jesus Christ, our Savior, and to the Holy Ghost who empowers us, to our, our daughter, Dr. Dennis, to... Uh, beloved First Lady and Lady Davis, officers to our mothers and to deaconettes and to all of you, uh, my sisters and brothers in Christ, I again can echo the sentiments of the songwriter by saying it's another day's journey, and I'm glad about it. Amen. We pray that God will just have his way in this service. We're remembering those. Uh, on our prayer list, certainly we want to keep you lifted up in prayer 
uh, our brother and our member that's in Atlanta, Brother Watkins Anton, I think Antonio. Antion, amen. He's he sent us a message this morning, and Anton, I saw your message. Good morning to you, amen. amen. And certainly we are praying for, well, praying for you. If you have those Bibles in your hand, phone up in high in the air. This is my Bible. Is my Bible. God's holy word. God's holy word. Slap it to my feet. Light it, light it to my path. I will believe it in my heart. I will live it in my life. Amen. I believe, I believe that we can read this together. Amen. Matthew, uh, Acts chapter number 8, beginning at verse 26, down to verse 29. We shall all read together on the count of three, one, two, and let us read. Amen, amen. God bless you. Amen for your leisure time. Just read all the way down to verse number number 40. Verse 26 says, And the angel of the Lord spake unto Philip, saying, Arise and go towards the south, uh, the way that goes down to Jerusalem unto God's uh, which is a desert. And he was obedient to the angel of the Lord. And he arose and went. And as he was going, he noticed, he observed a man of Ethiopia, a eunuch of great authority, under Candace, the queen of Ethiopia, whom had the charge of all her treasures and had come to Jerusalem to worship. Amen. I just want to talk about the Ethiopian unit. The, the Ethiopian unit. Amen. Do solicit your prayers that you pray with me and that you do pray, pray for me. Amen. I know that some may can't figure this topic out, amen, but if you give me just a couple minutes, I will try to uh, XG a little bit and so you can understand this Ethiopian eunuch. When you look at the life of the black man, the black woman, this Ethiopian unit played a significant role in Christianity getting back to Africa. You do know that Ethiopia is located in the northeastern part of Africa as black folks. Yeah, 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 that, they, they was there. In Ethiopia, in the Bible says that there was a unit that came from Ethiopia. Now, a, a unit is a man who has been castrated. The word eunuch in the Greek means bedroom guard. In the history of a eunuch was a man whose job was to guard the bedroom door of the royal women's 
they were normally slaves and very poor. They was there because because of their castration. They 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 had they bidded no harm to any of the women. But here it is in this text. This eunuch is not given no name. He is simply called a eunuch. He was not a slave nor was he poor. In fact, he was the financial manager of Ethiopia. He worked for Candace, the queen of Ethiopia. Now, Candace was not her name. Candace was simply a title. He worked under the authority of Candace, the queen of Ethiopia. He had authority from her. The text says here that he was a worshiping unit. He was one who worshiped the Lord. And because he was a worshiper, he had made a 1,500-mile journey from Ethiopia all the way to Jerusalem. Now, 1,500 miles in a chariot. Look at this. It would have taken him if he traveled 20 miles per day. It would have taken him three months to get from Ethiopia to Jerusalem. If he had traveled just 10 miles per day, it would have taken him six months to travel from Ethiopia to Jerusalem. He was one who wanted to get to Jerusalem. At the time of our text, he was probably there in Jerusalem during the time of the Passover and the crucifixion. While he was there, he had time and opportunity to hang around Jerusalem and see some things and hear some biblical teaching that went place, took place rather there in Jerusalem. While he was there in Jerusalem, undoubtedly he visited the temple or the synagogue. And while he was there in the synagogue or the temple, he picked up a scroll. He picked up the Bible. Now, you must understand, my brothers and sisters here, that scrolls in the Old Testament were very expensive. You just couldn't pick up a Bible like you can now. They were very, very expensive. So therefore, my brothers and sisters here, it tells me here that the eunuch was not a poor brother. The brother had some cash. Yeah, he, he had some cash. In fact, he, he, had enough, he had enough money there uh, to purchase one of the scrolls. Now, there were those that uh, in those days there that could not afford to purchase the scroll. It was read out loud so that those who could not afford to buy the scroll could hear what the word of God was saying. And I'm almost done. But here it is. Philip, under the unction of the Holy Spirit, God always has a person in the right place 
at the right time. Here it is, this eunuch, this financial manager of Candace, the queen of Ethiopia, the man who was not a poor man, a man, but the boy had some money. It's not only significant that he was able to buy the scroll, but he was also able to afford a chariot. Yeah, so you need to understand, black folks just, just, just didn't start getting money. They, they had money. So he, he, he's in his chariot, and, and after his stay there in Jerusalem, now he takes his stroll, and now he takes this long journey back to Africa. It, it may have taken him anywhere from six months to a year to get back. It was a long journey. And the Bible says, by way of the text, God speaks to a man by the name of Philip and tells him to go southward un down to Jerusalem unto Gaza. And, and once you go down there, you're going to find a brother, black brother down there. You, you'll know him because he's black and he's in a chair. He, he, he says, go down there. And Philip, uh, one who is charged to evangelize the unit. Yeah, he, he evangelizes. He, he goes and does what the Lord told him to do. He arises and, and he goes down there and on his way down there, he, he sees and he is introduced here to this, this eunuch, the one of great authority. And, and he was on his way back from Jerusalem. And undoubtedly, he had taken a rest period for the Bible says that now he was sitting in his chariot reading the word of God. He, he was reading a newfound uh, religion that perhaps he never experienced before. He sits in his chariot and there he, he, he reads from the prophet Isaiah. He's reading from Isaiah chapter 53 and verse number 7. He said, where it says that in Isaiah 53 and 7, he was led as a sheep to the slaughter and a lamb dawned before his sheep. But yet he opened not his mouth. Here it is. He's sitting there reading and Philip, amen, the Holy Spirit, lead him to get a little closer uh, to the unit. And once he get a little closer to him, he said, do you know what you're reading? Yeah, he said, do, do, do you know? Do, do you know? A lot, lot, lot of times we read the word and yet don't know what we're reading. He, he said, he, he said, he said do, do you know? And, and, and I liked the brother because he was honest, not like some of us who would pretend that we know. He says to Philip, how can I know? Unless somebody teaches me. I, I need some help in the thing. You know, we would be a whole lot better as a race of people if we allow somebody to help us along the way. To be honest enough to say, I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't know, and how can I know unless I be taught, even in the body of Christ, even in the church. How great a church we could be if you would say, Pastor, I really don't know. 
but I want somebody to teach me and, and show me the way I should go. He says, how can I know? How, how, can, how can I know unless somebody tells me? He, he, he desired, he, he wanted Philip to come over and help him out. Philip, Philip knew a little bit about the word. So he said to the eunuch, scoot over, man. Let, let me get in the chariot with you. They, they sitting in there together, and he's reading, but he don't know what he's reading. He don't understand. He reads, but don't understand what he is reading. So verse 35 said, Philip opened his mouth and, and at the same scripture and he began to preach unto him Jesus Christ. He, he didn't understand when he says that uh, he, he was led as a sheep to the slaughter and a, and, and a lamb dawned before his shears and opened not his mouth. He, he really didn't understand. And, and Philip took that and said, let me tell you what he's talking about. It's talking about a man named Jesus who, who, who died for your sins and mine. He's talking about a man who was uh, uh, tried in an unjust courtroom. He was, he was whipped. He was beaten. Crown of thorns was placed upon his head. He was pierced in his side. He was put in a cold grave, hung out there three days and got up and declared that all power is in my hand. And he said, and the eunuch, he said to Philip, are you talking about Isaiah? Are you talking about somebody else? He said, I'm talking about Jesus. And, and he said, he says to the eunuch, because Christianity got to get back to Africa now. He said to the eunuch, he said, now, now, if you can believe that the Lord Jesus Christ died for your sins, amen, and God raised him from the dead, he says, thou shall be saved. And he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. And he says to the eunuch, do you believe? Do you believe? And the eunuch said, yes, I believe. I believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. And he said, since I believe, he said, yine some water. He, he said, there's the water. What's hindering me from being baptized? Oh, I've been to the water. And I've been baptized. He said, what's hindering me because he, he wanted, amen, everything that Jesus had for. The Bible says that Philip and the eunuch, both of them got out of the chariot. And both of them went in the water. And I could see Brother Philip taking him to the water. A new convert. Take, taking him to the water because he said, there, 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 there is the water. He said, what hinders me from being baptized? He, he takes him to the water. Takes him there and takes him under the water. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Son. In the name of the Holy Spirit. I baptize you. He takes him under. And the Bible says he comes up. And when he comes up, the Holy Spirit takes Philip and takes him away. And now there is the eunuch there left all by himself. But the Bible says when he came up, he came up shouting. The Bible says that he was rejoicing. 
Now, I, I, I just believe in my spiritual mind those six months or three months, ever how many months he had to go back to Ethiopia, I just believe that it was a joyful trip. I believe he was praising God all the way back to Ethiopia. I believe he was singing this song, Wade in the Water. I, I believe he was singing this song, I've been to the water and I've been baptized. Oh, what a, what a journey he had going back now to his homeland. He goes back, and I'm done now. He goes back, and he meets with Candace, the queen of Ethiopia. He goes back, and he, he meets with her and says, Queen, I, I, I've been to Jerusalem. I, I, I've been to Jerusalem, and I want you to know, amen, that I had a good trip. I saw some things down there. I saw how they crucified Jesus. I, I, I saw how they, how they misused and how they mistreated him. But Queen also had opportunity to go to the temple. And because you gave me enough money, Queen, I, I had enough money to buy the scrolls. And so here it is. Queen, I come to tell you now. What I learned in Jerusalem is that salvation is for all. I, I learned that it's not just for Jews and Gentiles. I, not, I learned that it's not just a color thing. It's not just a nationality thing. I learned that we as black folks have all rights and privileges of any other because he died for us all. We don't have to walk around with our head down wondering whether or not he loved us or not. Amen. And Eunice said, Candace, I got good news. It didn't say if I got to be black to be saved. It didn't say you got to be white to be saved. It said if you believe that Jesus died and God raised him from the dead, no matter what color you are, how much money you got, he said that shall be saved. And I could imagine there in Ethiopia, that was a shout that broke out. Uh, you know black folk get together, they know how to praise them. When they get something they had never had before, they praise them now. When you read the text, when you read the Bible, you don't see, you don't read much anywhere else. Well, black man get a religion or a Christianity and go back home with it. So literally, this, is, this text is given credit for how Christianity got in Africa. That's why I told you now I won't talk about the Ethiopian unit because you just thought I was going to talk about a man being castrated. There was more to him than just a unit. He had a message. He had a word for a whole nation. And what we can learn from this unit today is that God has given us a word. He has given us a message. That no matter what background you may be from, no matter what track you're from, whether you're on this side of the track or that side, it really don't make no difference. Because when Jesus died, he died for all sides. He, he died for all, and that, that's what we can understand. As a black race of people, you don't have to walk around with your head down. You don't have to walk around wondering, amen, thinking you are defeated. Jesus said, I died for all. And the eunuch went over 3,000 miles round trip just to get back to Ethiopia to let them know that Jesus died for you. That Jesus loved you no matter. Just because you in, you, you in Kush country. 
Y'all catch Kush later on. God, you're still important. You're still important. So when you read the text again, move a little bit further from him just being a eunuch. Because here's a eunuch that had a message. God used him to go to Jerusalem. Take our time to go to worship. And didn't worship by himself. He bought it home. That tells it right there. You can walk it that when God do something for you, you will not be selfish. You will take it home. Be a blessing to somebody else. That may be the right reason why God can't bless some of us. Because we want to hold it all to our own self. We want to be selfish. But when God blesses you, when he uses you in his service, don't be selfish. If you have to go a little distance to get it out, don't, God, I know gas is high, but go on and take it. This boy went over 3,000 miles. You just may need to go, crawl, go down the streets. So when God blesses you, Amen. I'm done. Happy, uh, happy Black History Day. Amen. Standing all over the building. Standing all over the building. Standing all over the building. I will trust in I will trust in the Lord. I will trust in the Lord. The door is open. The door. Doors open. The doors open. I'm going to stay on the battlefield. I'm going. I'm going to stay on the battlefield until I Heads bowed right where you are in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you. We thank you for your word. Thank you, God, for your anointing in this place. And Lord, we thank you for this eunuch who was committed and determined to get the word out. Lord, I pray blessing upon all of these that's in this house. I pray for covering. I pray for protection. Lord, I pray that you bless those who are sick, those who are shut in, those names that has been laid upon the altar, those names that placed on our prayer for us to pray for. Lord, I lift each and every one of them up to you now. Pray, oh God, now that you meet their needs, oh God. Touch them, oh God, in a mighty and a special way and to let them know that no matter what they're going through, you're a God that yet still cares. 
And if they can hold on a little while longer, you still working on their behalf. Lord, we thank you, God. Lord, we give you all the glory. We give you the praise. In the mighty and the precious name of Jesus, we pray. And the saints of God said, Amen. God bless you. Come on, give God a great hand. Bless all of you in this place. Amen. All right. Pray, praise God. Praise God. Uh, properly, properly, we'll get a little picture of us in our, uh, in our, in our, thank you, sister. Help me out. Amen. I want to be picturized. God bless you. God bless you. <laughs> bless you. Amen. God bless you. We're preparing to go. Yet we're yet praying for the job. Jordan family and Yanni and all that Jordan family certainly want to keep them lifted up in our prayers. Amen. And all others who are uh, on our prayer and sick list. God bless you. Amen. I was looking at the calendar and it said that March was Women's Month. International Women's Month. That's the whole month. Oh, really? Okay, all right. But well, we're going to have to do something. Yes, we're going to celebrate Women's Month. Amen. Amen. We're going to pray. Something going on. God bless you. Amen. Amen. We're preparing to go down from this place. God bless you. God bless you. See you on Tuesday night on, uh, on Zoom. Go to our website. Grab your copy of our outline and it won't it, it won't be so hard on me because you already got it amen amen god bless you may the lord keep you dr dennis you got anything you need to share amen amen no oh, what's wrong dr dennis these days yes ma'am sister and y'all Your sister? Okay, all right. I'm sorry to hear about that, Sister Anyachi. Are you traveling? <laughs> sister to heal. All right, all right, all right, Sister Anyachi. Certainly we'll keep you and the Hill family in our prayers. And, and if you decide to, to travel to snow, let us know. Amen. Amen. God bless you. May the Lord forever keep you in his care. We make ready to go down from the plane. Mother, y'all looking good as, as always. Bless y'all always. Bless y'all always. And, and, and Mother, Mother Ada just prayed like she, she just, uh, she just, just got, got Jesus all in her toes this morning. God bless you. God bless you. May the Lord forever keep you in this care. Let us stand. Everybody say. Everybody say Everybody say Amen Let the church say Let the church say Let the church say Amen. Now may the grace of God and the sweet of His Holy Spirit be with us now, henceforth and forevermore. Shall we all sing together?